William Ernest Henley. I am the master of my fate. You've probably heard the famous poem Invictus, used for inspiration by Nelson Mandela during his time in prison and countless others since then. Perhaps those words will mean more to you once you know that Invictus was written while its author, William Ernest Henley, spent 20 months in the hospital, having one foot amputated and fighting to save his other leg through radical new surgical methods by the famous surgeon Joseph Lister. Imagine lying in bed at the age of just 24 with one foot gone and not knowing whether you will lose the other leg. You've lived with pain for years, intense pain for months, and you have no idea how you'll be able to face the rest of your life. What would you be thinking? Now, knowing all that, listen to a few words from his poem Invictus and imagine the strength it took to pen these words. Out of the night that covers me, black as the pit from pole to pole. Does that sound like someone who is struggling and depressed? But he's dealing with it emotionally as best he can. Back to the poem. I have not winced nor cried aloud under the bludgeonings of chance. My head is bloody, but unbowed. And it ends with this stirring phrase. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul. What an inspiration. That is the power of William Ernest Henley. Let's jump back to the beginning of his life. Henley was born in Gloucester, England in 1849. He was the oldest of six children and his father was a struggling bookseller. Unfortunately, Henley was not blessed with good health from a very early age. He was diagnosed with tuberculosis of the bone, which caused him to suffer from a deformity of the foot. As a result, he had to go the amputation and surgery described earlier. Despite this setback, Henley remained determined to pursue his passion for literature. He became a prolific writer, penning poetry, essays, and literary reviews. In fact, he was such a talented writer that he caught the eye of none other than Robert Louis Stevenson. You know, the guy who wrote Treasure Island. The two became good friends, and Stevenson even based one of his most famous characters, Long John Silver, on Henley. Henley's writing career, however, 
was not without its challenges. He faced financial difficulties and struggled with poor health throughout his life. But he never let those obstacles get in the way of his work. He continued to write and publish, and his talent earned him a reputation as one of the leading literary figures of his time. But let's get back to that hospital stay. Henley's health had been deteriorating for more than a decade. And in 1873, he was admitted to the Royal Infirmary in Eidenberg. His condition was so severe that doctors had no choice but to amputate his foot. Henley spent the next 20 months in the hospital, enduring painful treatments and surgeries. It was along towards the end of this time that he wrote Invictus, which has since become one of the most famous poems in the English language. The poem is a powerful expression of Henley's determination to overcome his struggles and emerge victorious and has inspired countless people around the world to persevere in the face of adversity. Henley's stay in the hospital was not all gloom and doom, however he became good friends with many of the hospital staff, including a young nurse named Margaret. The two fell in love, and despite the objections of Margaret's family, they eventually married. Henley's health remained fragile for the rest of his life, but he continued to write and publish until his death in 1903. His legacy lives on through his poetry and his impact on the literary world. And let's not forget his role in inspiring one of the most iconic movie scenes of all time. Who can forget Nelson Mandela reciting Invictus in that stadium in South Africa. So, there you have it. The life story of William Ernest Henley, a man who faced more than his fair share of challenges, but who refused to let them defeat him. A writer, who left a lasting mark on the world and whose words continue to inspire us to this day. I am the master of my fate. I am the captain of my soul.